When you consider the many responsibilities that we bestow upon our managers, ultimately the most fundamental is being responsible for the team's performance. Most managers have a two-part system when they look at managing performance. Simply, either they are friends with their employees and therefore everything is fine, or they are not getting on, and this necessitates the management of the performance or conduct issue. How do we do this? Well, in most organizations, there's a system for undertaking this. Simply, you either coach people, or if they're not coming up to speed, you ask them for an explanation as to why they're not undertaking the requisite behaviors or results that have been agreed to. There is a better way. By having two new escalation points that give you a chance to resolve the issues and to clarify requirements before we get into the ugly business of please explains and records of interviews. The first port of call should also be coaching. For example, someone in a customer service role may not know how to undertake managing really angry or difficult customers. This may cause them to ignore the calls or not be helpful. In this case, an intervention that looks at assisting the employee to improve is the best way forward, but sometimes we provide the training and nothing happens. This is where a new system, which adds two extra steps, can be a benefit. The second step after coaching should be what we call the language of concern. At this level, we're indicating to the employee our concern that things have not changed. At this level, you again clarify three key areas. Firstly, the behaviors or targets that are not being met. Secondly, the behaviors or targets that are accepted. And thirdly, examples of how this has been achieved before by someone else. Essentially, we're teaching people what the expected performance or behavioral standards are. The aim at this level is to maintain a reasonably cordial relationship with the employee, but essentially we are starting the process of having a management game phase, and therefore making it very clear behaviorally to our employees what is expected, and why. Sometimes this doesn't work, however, which leads us to the third level, the level of escalation that we call the language of issue. We have now tried both coaching and also to highlight to the employee what the expected standards are, and the language of issue is the last step before we move to more formal action. At this level, the manager firmly takes on a management game face. They explain very clearly the behaviors that have been continuing and that they are unacceptable. At this level, the manager explains the consequences of not changing the behavior and again reiterates the expected behaviors and examples of it. This is really the final warning stage before more formal action, but again provides both the manager and the employee with the opportunity to identify what behaviors are needed and why those gaps have not been met. At this level, the manager asks three different questions. Why have you not changed? Is there something about the change that you find difficult? And what do you need from me to change? At this level, there is also clear documentation of what is required, by who, when, as well as details on how this change will be implemented. And this essentially provides the last chance of behavioral change or performance change before escalation. These two steps, the language of concern and the language of issue, are where the manager develops his management persona. Developing two extra steps between coaching and performance management allows a manager to address behavioral, performance, and conduct issues without having to ruin relationships.